You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, we will learn how to implement Juniper SRX enhanced version of web filtering, which is the third method of web filtering implementation, and it is based on WebSense Cloud solution. With a Juniper SRX enhanced web filtering, in summary, URL addresses are forwarded to the cloud WebSense Threat Seeker solution, and URL category and URL reputation are returned from the cloud. Then in the Juniper SRX device itself, we decide the behavior or the action based on the URL category and URL reputation. Enhanced web filtering feature requires a license, unlike the other two web filtering methods, local and WebSense redirect solutions, which are discussed in the previous section. URL reputation returned by the cloud is one of the option, very safe, moderately safe, fairly safe, suspicious and harmful. URL category returned by the cloud is predefined category already exists in the cloud. But there is no decision regarding the action in the cloud the action is decided on the Juniper SRX device itself, which is configured by the administrator for each URL category and URL reputation. You can also configure the default action for the time when the URL does not belong to any of the categories and there is no reputation history for the URL. Or you can also configure fallback action for the time when the cloud solution is not available. The actions can be one of the operation, permit, block, and quarantine. The action block and permit are self-explanatory, but the action quarantine makes the end user the final decision maker. In other words, the final user receive a message that the URL can be Possibly harmful? Do you want to continue browsing the URL? Based on the user's endpoint response, the URL is downloaded or blocked by the Juniper device itself. Configuring enhanced web filtering feature is like all other UTM features. In the first step, we have to enable enhanced web filtering feature. In the second step, we configure enhanced web filtering profile. Inside the profile, we configure the actions for each URL category and URL reputation. We also configure the default action for the URL categories and reputation for which the action is not explicitly configured or when the URL is not categorized and there is no history for the reputation. It's also optional to configure the IP address and the port to connect to the WebSense cloud solution. By default, it connects to the rp.cloud.threadseeker.com. In the third step, we configure enhanced web filtering policy. The only configuration in the policy is to use or to configure one of the configured profile, web filtering profile, or the default profile to be used. In the last step, Web filtering policy will be applied to a security policy exact like other UTM features. Now we can start configuring enhanced web filtering in the Juniper SX device. As you know, enhanced web filtering feature, unlike local and WebSense redirect methods, requires license. Here I use 30 days trial license. To see if the license exists in my device, I use the command show system license. As you can see in the output, WF key WebSense EWF is activated in my device. WF stands for web filtering and EWF stands for enhanced web filtering. 20 days license left. In the first step, we have to enable enhanced web filtering with a command set security UTM default configuration web filtering type. As you know, we have four options to enable web filtering. 
Juniper Enhanced, Juniper Local, Web Filtering Non or Disable Web Filtering, and Web Sense Redirect. We have already discussed the two methods, Juniper Local and Web Sense Redirect. In this section, we are going to enable Juniper Enhanced and then Commit. To configure Enhanced Web Filtering Profile, which is optional, we configure the action for each URL category and URL reputation with the command set security UTM feature profile, web filtering, Juniper enhanced profile. We create a profile with the name of web filter, enhanced profile, and then with the parameter category, we can see all predefined category existing in the cloud. For example, enhance abortion, enhance abuse drug, adult content, and about 100 categories. For each category, we are allowed to configure one of these actions. For example, for the category image, we are allowed to configure these actions. Block, log, and permit, permit, and quarantine. Here is an example. I configured the action block for the categories enhanced games and enhanced peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. And also I configured the action permit for the category and educational video. Let's copy and paste, copy and then paste and then commit. We also configure the action for different URL reputation with the parameter site reputation action and then question mark. We can see different reputation, very safe, moderately safe, fairly safe, suspicious and harmful, which an action can be configured for each reputation. I configure the action block for the reputation harmful, the action quarantine for the reputation suspicious, and the action log and permit for the other reputations. I also configure the default action quarantine for the URLs which are not configured, and there is no URL category and there is no URL reputation history in the cloud copy and then paste and then commit we also configure optionally the ip address of websense cloud solution the address is rp.cloud.threadseeker.com which is the default web filtering cloud address and it is not required to be configured but to make sure that the configuration is correct, paste the configuration and then commit. In the next step, we configure web filtering policy. There is not a lot to configure in web filtering policy. We only configure and enable one of the configured web filtering profile in the web filtering policy. Here, we create a policy with the name of Web Filter Enhanced Policy. In addition to the manually configured profile, which is Web Filter Enhanced Profile, there are also options to configure the default Jonos WF Enhanced Default and Jonos WF Enhanced Log Only options to be configured in the policy but here i enable the manually configured profile and then paste and then commit in the last step we have to apply the web filter policy in a security policy from untrust zone to the trust zone there is a default default permit policy which permit everything and it is configured in the previous sections. At the end of then permit rule, we can add the application service UTM policy, our configured web filter enhance policy. So copy and then 
and then commit to make sure that the enhanced web filtering policy is configured and activated we have two main monitoring commands with the command show security utm web filtering status we can check if web filtering feature is enabled and which version of web filtering features enabled which is here enhanced version and if we use a statistics instead of a status we can see the statistics related to enhanced web filtering features the number of hits based on URL category and URL reputation 